I need to get out of here. Yo, yo, he's on me. He got one down. It's just you and me. Oh, shoot. Dang it. That's bullshit, man. Oh, my oh, God. Man. What is going on everyone? It is your boy Attach and today we are back with another video. Uh, this is going to be another tip and tricks video. Uh, our last video, my last video went off and went crazy. You guys showed so much support. We got like 500 subs in a new day. The video is already at like 30k real time views. And uh, yeah, you guys absolutely love that tips and tricks video. So I figured why not add another one onto it. This will probably be my last one for a little bit just because we already talked about all the movement and cool stuff you got to do. Now we're going to really dive deep into and go in depth with uh, aiming your gun and just the aiming different guns because with every gun is different with the Maddox is different with the SOG it's different with the ICR is different and I'm mostly going to be talking about the competitive weapons used I know there's a tons of guns for pubs and stuff and mostly all this logic will be you that will apply to most of the weapons that I use but when I talk about the SMGs do the same thing for all the SMGs when I talk about the, the Maddox and like the other ARs do the same thing with the other ARs and like make sure you're like taking the things I'm saying and apply it to the, all your aspects of gameplay and uh, but first we're gonna start off by getting a comfortable sensitivity I mean this is really just preference um I know some pub players some snipers play on crazy high sensitivities but if you're a pro player you usually play on about six six one 6-6 six, six, as in the horizontal and vertical sensitivity. You, it depends depending on what you what role you are. If you're a Maddox player, usually 6-6-1. Six, six, maybe like 7-7.75. Seven, 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 if you're a SOG player, like 6-6-1, six, 7-7.75. Six, seven, 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 like it's all pretty, it's all around there. That's usually like the sensitivity you are going to be using. So if you're a Maddox, I think personally the best is uh, for me, I, I like it a lot. A lot of other players like it as well, is using 6-6-1 six, six, ADS. Where the ADS is when you are aimed down sight. ADS aim down sight and you were like moving around so when you're aimed in it like is it's that one it's the normal speed if you go up it's 1.25 it's a little bit faster than normal and then it goes all the way up to four which is insanely fast which I you, you should not play on or you're crazy to be honest like 0.25 is too slow 0.5 probably too slow 0.75 it's eh, but it still feels different a person to me like if you play on 0.275 and you like it, it works for you hey more power to you but when i'm using one um it just everything feels so much smoother because when you're like looking around with six like it feels good but if you aim and use 0.75 it feels a little too slow and doesn't feel natural and especially in this game where everyone is so cracked cracked aiming sliding slide canceling you also have to be that that too and you have to be able to turn quick maneuver quick whether you're aimed in aimed out like you guys be able to move around quickly and um i snipe using the high zoom sensitivity at 1.25 pretty much the sniper um whenever you're aimed in with the sniper scope you just like move, can, can snap around move around really fast while still aimed in if you're using one with the sniper scope and someone's like running it's like kind of hard to catch to them but if you're using 1.25 you could like just swipe onto them, snap onto them very quickly. And that's why I use uh, high zoom sensitivity 1.25. And then I use aim assist. Oh wait, aim assist is off. I mean, oh, shit, I don't even think that matters. This one, yeah, aim assist does not affect multiplayer. What you need to have on is your target assist. You need to make sure target assist is on. If it's not on, turn it on. Or you literally have no aim assist. But I don't know why aim assist is for non-multiplayer, but like aim assist doesn't really matter for non-multiplayer. Control vibration off. I do not like vibration. Um, spring cast reloads off. Auto mantle. I usually put auto mantle on. I don't know why that was off. Auto mantle on just so I could like uh, I just auto mantle into like buildings. I just do it. it just so it happens really quickly. Um, auto sprint off. I play stick layout default. Button layout tactical. Uh, and then I play tactical flipped. So I shoot with my um, let me unplug this. I shoot with my bumpers right here. I don't shoot with my triggers. I heal. Do all that stuff with my triggers. And then I play brightness 50%. High boost, I play my audio preset. I don't play on a super crunch like a lot of people. I just play on high boost. I don't really know what it does, but I just put on high boost. I don't know. I put my music volume all the way down as well, if you guys were wondering about that. And I use a scuff 4PS. Um, shoot with my triggers, or my bumpers, my bad. Use my triggers for uh, grenades, tacticals, popping my specialist, all that stuff. Left paddles X, 
right paddles O. I use scuff sticks and uh, military grade grip on the back. Another good thing is control freaks. A lot of players use control freaks. Personally, it's all a feel thing to me. I used to use control freaks when I was younger. Uh, I was just like, I don't really w want them or want to use them anymore. I just stopped using them and uh, I, it's just not for me. It's not for me anymore. I just really like the way scuff sticks feel. Personally, they, this is all custom. Like this is whatever you, however you feel. If you feel like you want to use a certain thing, go ahead, use that. Whatever is going to make you feel, feel the most comfortable, make you feel like you can play your best at, use whatever that is. If you're using eight control weeks stacked on top of each other, hey, so be it. If that's what makes you play your best, do it. But uh, yeah, it's just all about being comfortable with the controller, getting comfortable sensitivity, but not too crazy because you need to be able to move around quickly, but while being able to control it perfectly and not missing a bullet. Because if you miss a bullet, that can cost you your life. And you know, you don't want to die because then you're going to lose. Um, yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys. And uh, it's different with every gun. Like I said, each gun has like the movements and certain things you're going to want to do with it. With the Maddox, it's uh, crack aiming, slide canceling, all that good stuff. Just being super cracked with it. And like, obviously the crowd shotting too, but yeah, let's see. I'll go into the theater and show you guys after. This is what it looks like. Dang. Show you guys after that in theater. That's like the best way to kill the Maddox or any gun. Just always slide cancel the heady. And then but the Maddox, like I was saying in the other video, crack aim is just super important. Keep your shot on point. Your aim assist doesn't go crazy off it. And um, it's, it's very clutch. Also, shout out to the homie Kennedy. If you guys are ever in my stream, Kennedy goes crazy. Kennedy gifts so many subs and is always there showing support. The homie right there. And I was, and I was helping with this video. So, shout out to Kennedy. We'll be talking to him momentarily. But yeah, with the Maddox, those things you want to do. Crack dame, slide cancel, and uh, crowd shot. Like, bang, crowd shot. And we'll be going to theater to show his perspective, or to show the perspective, from, or for, show it from his perspective. Why I can't speak English right now, so you guys can see what it looks like when I'm actually, when you're actually killing someone like this. And now I'm in theater showing you what the slide canceling looks like from uh, my perspective and then his perspective. I mean, you guys, I didn't wasn't able to show you guys in the first video, but now if you watch that video and now you're watching this one, I will show you what it looks like when you get slide canceled and wait when you do the slide cancel too. That's what he sees. Well, that's what I see. Put his screen a little bit. Back it up. Back it up. Right here. That's what he sees, bro. Like, there's really nothing you could do about that. You just get absolutely smoked. You barely even see the person. Next thing you know, they're already shooting at you and you're dead. Uh, so it's very difficult to... Uh, beat someone that's slide canceling especially to a head glitch that is that big and now we are here with the SOG this is the SMG in the game uh, pretty much all of the pros use this gun this is like the main weapon of choice for the SMGs for pros and it's just really good with the SOG you like to aim a lot aim in a lot and just make sure you're straight. strafing like crazy strafing and uh, just moving around strafe is make as much movement make as many crazy movements as you can but uh never what's it called like you never want to stand still with the SOG like you always want to be strafing and if you're not strafing you jump shotting jump shotting is really good with the SOG whereas with the Maddox jump shotting is not very good jumping with the SOG is like really good and you can even like hit a little slide jump and just do crazy movements with the SOG you want to be jumping around strafing around as, f as crazy as you can but just but make sure you're hitting your shots if you're not hitting your shots it's not really it's not really useful to be completely honest but just try and do all the movements you can while still being able to control your shot and it's just super important to be straight around like this and i'll show you guys that from his perspective show you how fast it looks like i'm actually moving and my screen doesn't look like i'm moving too fast but from his screen to other people's screens it looks like you're moving super fast and also doing like crazy movements like jump shock straight you jump, crouch, strafe, slide, slide, go back and forth. Like you're just gonna wanna be super cracked, making a bunch of plays, and obviously you're gonna wanna do this. You're gonna wanna hit the shoot beat down at all times. One bullet beat down, one bullet beat down. Sometimes my shoot beat downs are kinda off because you really have to time it. You have to predict the other player's movement before they even make a movement. Like you have to know when they're gonna slide or know if they're gonna wait, then you could jump full child again or like jump, shoot at them again. Like you just have to always be able to predict what they're gonna do and obviously you're not always gonna predict it right i don't always do it no one ever gets, gets it right every single time but you want to just get it on point shoot beat down shoot beat down shoot beat down practice it because it's very helpful in close quarters especially with the sog and i don't know why there's the body standing in front like this it actually kind of ruins it so you can't see me strafing as well but this is what the strafing looks like with the sog with this is only with stock one this is not stock two this is only stock one when you're just strafing back around strafing 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 
you're moving very fast on their screen especially when you're strafing like near a wall or around a wall too like they have absolutely no chance of killing you if you're strafing a wall because their wall is covering you but then you're strafing like it's strafing is so good with the SOG you need to make sure your movement is on point you need to make sure you're controlling your, re your aim but you need to make sure your strafes are on point your movement's on point so when they so when they're shooting at you they cannot catch up to you and they cannot hit you and now we're going to talk about the ICR the main AR long or long range AR weapon I should say because the Maddox is also an AR but that's a very up close get cracked slide slide in chow medium range chow if you have the gunny long range you could chow but the ICR is the relaxed it's not really relaxed but it's uh it's just the icr man like you're just preaming 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 you see the little right here and you're always going to be preaming with this gun you can crack aim with this too it's not that bad to crack aim but you're just going to want to always be posted with this uh, with the icr it's all about positioning because you're never really gonna be able to just run in hills and kill a bunch of maddoxes and sogs up close like you could if your playing players aren't that good and there's missing shots and you're hitting all your shots but it's not a consistent way to play with the icr you're gonna need to be posted up at range looking over your teammates putting damage down on the other people and uh on the other team and then after like the trades go down on the hill like, if it's getting mixy everyone's sliding around getting a kill in the in you like you then you can follow up and get the trades get the people that are hurt get and finish off the kills but for the most part you're going to want to be wall banging with this gun i know wall banging that's why you're going to use fmj reflex grip one grip grip two and uh hopefully that's why i don't use icr because you we saw happens in ghost i tried to wall bang a fence it did not go too well so we're not going to be using the icr personally I, I use icr a little bit snd but other than that not really but it's just really good to just pre-aim and you also it's very good to like pre-fire like when someone's running around the corner at you it's super helpful like if you're just picking him like okay this guy was here he's gonna reach out bang get a little pre-fire and it's so good and with the icr pre-firing is very important because it has a slow fire rate so you always want to be ready when someone's just about to pull up on you out of nowhere like you gotta be ready to go and just make sure you're shooting your weapon and then like that see first bullet because what if you don't get the first bullet the icr the maddox sh shoots quicker than it the sog shoots quicker than it and it's just a slower weapon like it's good at long range but you need to make sure you're hitting those pre-fire shots because those pre-fire shots can win you the gunfight and win you the engagement with uh whatever weapon you're in it gives you the best chance obviously you don't want to pre-fire your whole clip but you're going to want to pre-fire just a little bit make sure you not to give them a couple warning shots and they hit the corner bang easy shots because you have the first bullet you catch them sprinting you catch them lacking a little bit and you can easily win the gunfight and with the icr is very important to shoot through the wall so having fmj is it's a must on the maps especially like frequency and other maps where you shoot through walls it's very important look at that bang fmj if i could wall bang any of you could wall bang because we saw what happened a couple years back wall bang is not particularly my thing uh but you guys can do it i believe in you you're not going to be like me back in ghost back in the 2014 days where i was just trying to shoot through a fence and failed epically it was pretty bad but look at i can do it Bang, easy wall banks so like i said make sure you have fmj on your icr all right guys and if you see someone named k i n n x d y make sure just just know that's the homie right there kennedy always supporting always in the stream always showing love and uh, now he's even helping me make videos so uh kennedy thank you very much my brother anything you would like to say to my subscribers anyone that would possibly view this video hey take these tips bros hey, take i help you hey see take yo kennedy tips. kennedy are about to be frying a league play for sure we're getting these dubs next to the stream all right oh uh, yeah let's go. <laughs> all right yo, thank you for helping <laughs> me bro and then wall banging with the ICR is huge. Like this, this is his perspective. He ca he can't even see me. But if I know where he is, easily wall bang him. And that's why you need to use FMJ on your ICRs to wall bang the walls that you can shoot for sure shoot through. There's some walls you can't, but there's a lot of walls, especially on like certain maps like frequency, like the walls by you, the walls in front red, front blue, the elbow walls, the little dividers that platform directly in front of you. There's a lot of things that you can shoot through on frequency and FMJ helps with that a ton. So make sure you're using it on your ICR. And guys, I hope, and hope, I hope this video helped. Uh, if it did, make sure to drop a like, comment, and uh, just if you want to see any more specific videos, let me know. I'm actually going to be doing an, an apartment 
apartment tour video soon in my new apartment I'm gonna be doing a, a video with some certain like hand stretches and like the best stretches and the best exercises for gamers to make sure you don't have any injuries when you get older so if you're interested um, to just prevent injury but if you're interested in that make sure to leave a comment and let me know down below I do appreciate all the feedback on the last video and all of my videos if you think a video sucked let me know you think it sucked if you think a video is good let me know you think it's good and just uh, say whatever you want to say I mean I'm not gonna get offended uh, but yeah I appreciate all the feedback guys and the criticism so thank you all for watching i will see you guys in the next video and as always my name is attach and i'm out peace